Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to finally be doing my ranking my Pat McGrath Labs eyeshadow palettes from least favorite to most favorite. If you would like to hear my thoughts on them, then just keep watching. You guys really seem to enjoy my last ranking video where I ranked my Natasha Denona palettes from least to favorite and I got so many comments asking if I would do my Pat McGrath rankings so here they are okay let me preface this so for the last couple of weeks I have been hemming and hawing feeling stressed out about how I was going to rank these palettes from least to most favorite because if you follow my channel in any sort of way you probably know that I've never said anything bad about Pat McGrath. Her eyeshadow palettes are the bomb. She is the absolute queen, the mother of eyeshadow formulas. So really actually ranking these was so difficult. It actually, it really stressed me out. This was like almost not fun for me. Honestly, these are the best of the best eyeshadow palettes, so even my lowest ranked palette, I love. And to be honest, I don't really know like how sure I am of this ranking. At the very least, this is just a general preview of these eyeshadow palettes if you're interested in looking at them, seeing them, hearing about them. If you want to try out Pat McGrath for the first time, I think this would be a really helpful guide for you guys. I also am going to try and insert pictures of looks that I've done with each each palette just so you can kind of see what I've created with them so anyways let's get into it so I'm going to start off with number 11 so she has 11 palettes this is my least favorite of her line so this is the mothership sublime bronze temptation and this is from her brand new opulence collection if you want to see the looks that I did with the opulence collection I did just upload a tutorial using all three of the palettes it was three different looks so I'm just gonna open this so you can see this is what it looks like and honestly of the opulence collection this is probably the most wearable but the thing with Pat McGrath is you're paying so much for it. I buy Pat McGrath for the creativity of it and the uniqueness of it. So this definitely, if you're looking for something more wearable in her new Opulence collection, this is the way to go. But for me personally, this color, it looks like a beautiful cranberry, but when you get it on the lid, the duochrome in it is so strong that it's almost like a yellowy bronze duochrome. The duochrome is weird on the eyelid because it's so strong. So when I put it on my lid, I was looking for a really cranberry color and it just, the way the light was hitting it I couldn't get it to look like that it almost was just I don't know it's duochrome color is kind of weird anyways so I thought I would love that color and I don't but the quality of it is amazing and then also this green color it's what's all over my lid I did put a teal glare on top so it did kind of change it but it is really really gorgeous but she just has so many other beautiful greeny glittery colors so I have to say, this is my number 11, but I mean, it's still freaking gorgeous. The quality is amazing, but I, I didn't have a choice. Something had to be number 11. All right, moving on. Number 10, we have the Mothership Subversive Metamorphosis palette. Again, this is one of her eyeshadow palettes from the Opulence collection. I feel bad that my bottom two are from this collection, but I did say I didn't like this mini collection as much as her other mini collection. And this palette is really, really gorgeous. The look that I created, you guys seem to love it. Honestly, it was so stunning, but I mean, just for everyday use, you're definitely going to have to dig into other palettes. I did create a look just using this, but it was very difficult. I did still have to go in with the matte brown. But that being said, this palette really isn't made to be a one and all look, and that's okay, but it is $55. The colors are really gorgeous and the quality is absolutely perfection. These colors are so pigmented, you really don't even need to use them wet. I don't know, but something something had to be number 10. I don't have anything bad to say about this. It's just not my favorite array of colors. All right, so let's move on to number nine. My number nine favorite is the Mothership Subliminal Platinum Bronze. Now this guy is gorgeous. The only thing I have to say about this is they are kind of in the same tone. They look like they'd be very similar. There's not too much depth in this palette. This is from the mini eyeshadow collection that came out before the Opulence collection. And when I first opened this, I didn't think I would like it. I thought for sure this would be my least favorite eyeshadow palette from her. But honestly, the look I created with it when I first got it was so stunning. And I just realized how versatile and wearable this palette is. And I really love these cool tone browns a lot more than I thought I would. And this is the last time I'm going to talk about formulation. All the formulation and all these palettes are good, so 
so I'm not even gonna mention formulation. This is more about color schemes and color layouts and kind of how I wear them and what is the color scheme for me because at the end of the day, that's how these are going to be ranked for you. It's just based on what color scheme works for you and what you're going to wear and use. All right, number eight. This is the first of her big palettes. Now you will notice the majority of my small palettes are kind of towards the bottom of the list. I just feel like that's the way it should be because those are $55 and the big ones are $125. So with that price margin, I really would hope the big ones would be more towards the top. This one is just happens to be my least favorite. Now this is called the Mothership for subversive palette and I did do a full review and a full tutorial on that and by the way most of these palettes I have a review and a tutorial on so I will link those down below for you I definitely recommend you check them out if you're interested in a specific palette but I believe this was limited edition so you can't get it anymore but what I was disappointed by with this palette is that it didn't have her microfine glitter formula now none of the little palettes have that but that's okay because those are $55 this is $125 $25. If I'm paying $125, I want that microfine glitter formula. And I mean, I don't know. It's not difficult to create a look with this, but compared to the other palettes, this one just isn't as inspiring to me. Again, it's really gorgeous, but if I had to put it somewhere, this is just where it happened to fell in my ranking. But again, it's a very unique array of colors, and each color is beautiful in its own way, but it had to fall somewhere okay like this is really difficult for me <laughs> number seven i don't know this might come as a surprise to you guys but this is the mothership subversive la vie and rose now this is honestly one of her most beautiful palettes that she's come out with and definitely of the mini collection line this is probably her most gorgeous. Uh, this gold right here is one of the most beautiful colors ever. One of the most beautiful gold formulas ever. I mean, all of her gold eyeshadows honestly are the best gold eyeshadow formula in the world. I am not exaggerating with that. I don't know. This is like super beautiful and I love purples, but it is very, very out there. I just haven't used it quite as much. I will say with these colors, I've created really good, gorgeous, beautiful looks. But after some point, I did kind of start to feel a little less inspired by it just because I'd used up all of the combinations but I mean it's only a six color palette so really gorgeous really beautiful purples if you're into very vibrant palettes so my number six favorite is from her new opulence collection this is the mothership subliminal dark star palette this what I thought was going to be my least favorite palette in her opulence collection but now that I've used it and play with it, it is my most favorite and it's very up high on the ranking scale. This color palette is gorgeous. If you like smoky eyes, this is this is your palette. You are going to love this. And this color is one of the most beautiful colors I have ever seen. And it works so well with this gray color. You have, again, the beautiful gold formula that she's amazing at. I just truly love this palette. I love every single look I have managed to create with it. So even though I'm only showing you one picture, I've created multiple beautiful looks with this palette just playing in my room before bed. I just wasn't expecting to love this as much as I love this. All right, so this is the last mini palette. So number five is the Mothership Sublime Bronze Ambition. Now this is a very wearable palette, but it's just, I've created one of my favorite looks ever with this palette. So I think if you're looking for one of her little $55 eyeshadow palettes, you definitely should go for this one. I just think it's so stunning. This, if you want to try her formula, is a really amazing takeaway from that. This is just a very comfortable color scheme for me and the looks I create, even though it looks quite plain, I feel like every single look I do with this is just breathtaking. This is definitely my favorite mini palette, I think. Mind you, I'm saying all of this with a little bit of hesitation because if I were to rank this on a different day, it could possibly be in a different order. So my fourth favorite, this is when we're going to get into the more expensive palette. So this is the Mothership 2 Sublime palette and I mean, I don't really have too much to say about these. They're just, these are when the palettes start to have that beautiful, super micro fine glitter formula that I've never found in another eyeshadow palette. 
they're slightly duochrome the glitters are so fine they just when you put them all over the lid they really just change your makeup game just by putting that simple glitter color on your lid you look like a superstar you look so glamorous and what i do like about this palette too is they have a lot of kind of neutral satins as well that blend like butter and are great for every day and you can create really pretty mauve -y looks with that as well i mean with these top four they really are super close i had to put them in an order but these four are like, I would literally rank them all in first place if I could. Moving on, this is the Mothership number one, the Subliminal Palette. Alright, so when I ordered this palette, I was like, this one's definitely going to be my least favorite. But it actually, I know it's in third place, but it's seriously one of my absolute favorites. This is in a very hesitant third place because... The number two and three, they are straight up neck and neck. I just, in my mood today, I put this in number three. But it looks like one of her more plain basic palettes. So you, if you aren't as adventurous with your makeup, I would definitely recommend it because you can create a very neutral, everyday, work-friendly look. But you have these four colors over here to truly, truly amp it up. They do not look as beautiful in the pan as they do in the eye. When you put these on your eye, you are going to be like shook like I'm just saying these four colors are beautiful the this color layered on top of this color is like one of the most prettiest eye looks I have ever created cannot say enough good things about this palette all right so this is the mothership number three the subversive palette now for this guy I think I put it in second just because Looking at it, it definitely is one of the most pleasing palettes of hers to look at. I mean, oh, this is stunning. This is one of the most beautiful colors I have ever seen. Same with this color. Same with this color. Oh my gosh. She also just does duochromes the best. I've never seen another brand that does duochromes like her. Never seen another brand that does glitter formulas like her. Wow, I just looked at this purple color and now I'm going to take this makeup off and create a look with it. So if you're a little bit more adventurous with color, go for the Mothership too. But if you are a little bit more subdued, then I would go with Mothership 1. Alright, so let's talk about the number one favorite. If you've watched any of my other Pat McGrath videos of late, you would know that this is my favorite. <laughs> Some of you guys were actually commenting and you were like, I want to see your rankings even though I know it's going to be number one because I have not been shy to mention this as my number one favorite. But this is her newest big Mothership palette. So this is the Mothership 5 Bronze Seduction. Now I will say one negative thing I have to say about Pat McGrath is I do not like her names because I can never remember them for some reason. I really always need to look them up online. But anyways, all the names kind of confuse me because they all kind of have the same names. But I mean that's just that's really not even an issue. I just want, for me who does videos, it's kind of annoying, but oh my goodness. And honestly, this doesn't even look like the most beautiful palette of hers, but on the eyes, this palette is unmatched with her other one. This one is easily my favorite. This is the only sure thing palette in this ranking that I knew where I was going to put without even thinking about it. I just feel like she lays out these beautiful crease colors that of course I would always reach for. And then she has a lot of my favorite glitter formula in here as well. I don't know. I have a review on this and I just want you to watch it so I can stop talking. But I don't know. I have a review on this. I would suggest you go watch it to get my full opinions on it. But yeah, this guy is number one easily love this palette they are extending the vib rouge sale so if you didn't pick this up please do if you're interested in buying it but uh anyways yeah that was my pat mcgrath palettes ranked from least to most favorite it's a pretty long video because you guys know i'm so passionate about pat mcgrath and her brand and her product and everything about her and these eyeshadow palettes so I hope you guys enjoyed. I want to get into making more of these ranked videos. So yeah, if there's any kind of ranked video you want to see, let me know down below. I was thinking maybe ranking my Too Faced palettes from least to most favorite, ranking my ABH palettes from least to most favorite. Seriously, if there's anything you want to see, comment down below. I'm always in need of your guys' ideas. I love to do them. And just any other video in general that you would like to see, don't be afraid to ask me and I'll write it down and see if I can get to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel and of course comment down below 
below. Tell me what your rankings are. I'm seriously super interested in hearing how ours differ. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.